Well, for shits and giggles, let's try a quartz metal halide on the incorrect gear. Obviously, you can see the difference in the size between the two arc tubes. Oh, this will be interesting. One thing to note about quartz metal headlight lamps is when they reach the end of their life they have a nasty habit of exploding sometimes which is why any luminaire designed for them has to have protective safety glass in front. If you need to use one in an open luminaire then you need to use a special lamp with a protected arc tube like this one here. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So 70 watt metal halide lamp on 400 watt sodium gear Test one. Oh, it doesn't like it, it's flickering. Oh, oh, we get massive color shift. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up. Yeah, normal, this lamp is raised for 4000 degrees Kelvin and uh, now the light is greeny yellow, it's really not happy. Still going though. Doesn't seem to mind that. Not sure how much memory I've got left in this camera. I'm running out of memory. Should have deleted a lot of things first. Right, new memory card. Should have plenty of memory on this one. Uh, it ran for about five minutes and then the arc extinguished due to high pressure. So let's try again and see how long it lasts. I've let it cool down a bit. So, three, two, one, power. I inspected the arc tube when it was cooling down and it's not a happy colour. Oh, we're getting some nice colours there. Oh, so yeah, the arc tube was uh, not a very happy colour. The metal salts had deposited all around. And um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I think if I was to leave it cycling like this, it would eventually go pop. But I think the idea is just to nuke it straight away. I think I might see if I can get hold of another one of these chokes. Have them both in parallel, twice the current's available. I think the 70 watt lamps are only rated for, I think, 900 milliamps offhand. Whereas these high pressure sodium 400 watt is about. I think it's 4.6 amps, I'm not really sure. Either 3.8 or 4.6. Can't remember. 4.6 might be from the mains. Uh, I don't know how to check that. Anyway, yeah, with two in parallel, we should have twice the current. And it might pop before the. It can get to a, such a high pressure, or it might build up really quickly and then pop, or it might do nothing but two minutes, no explosion. Obviously, it ran a bit shorter than last time because uh, it was fully cold, I didn't let it cool down properly. Oh well, thanks for watching.